Hey guys, it's Leslie from Leslie Writes It All. I'm going to review mermaid markers with you guys today, as well as provide a little short tutorial on how to do galaxy writing with these pens. As always, there's going to be more information on the blog post as well as listed in the description below. I got these Jane Davenport mermaid markers from my local Michaels. They are a pen that looks like a water brush with ink pre-filled in the chambers. So I think the retail price of these pens go for about $40. They can always use a coupon if you have a Michaels nearby or they are available on Amazon for less than $30. I'm going to demo all the colors for you um, with these little heart swatches. This set comes with 12 of these pens and all the colors will be displayed right now. So a little bit more about these pens. They are a brush pen uh, with nylon tips. Um, I find that the nylon is actually pretty responsive. It bounces back pretty quickly so it makes this pen a little bit easier to use than maybe a traditional watercolor brush. The pen tips come to a really fine tip, which means that you can get some really great thin hairlines. Um, but it also has a really thick brush, so you can get pretty thick downstrokes as well. The inks of these markers are dye based and not light fast, so they are not ideal for work that you want to be displayed for a long period of time. Not being light fast means that over time, sun will cause the colors to fade. But because these pens are pre-filled with all these beautiful colors, they are really great for travel since you don't need to carry any extra inks or um, paints with you. So just to show you guys, this pen is pretty capable of making really thin lines as well as thicker strokes when you push and apply pressure down on it. A really great quality about these pens are that they are pretty easy to blend. Um, as you can tell, I dipped the pink pen into a little bit of purple ink and it shows up purple at first but then it returns to their, its original color. This is what is meant by when a pen is self-cleaning. It'll always return back to its original color. Now there are two ways to um, play with the different colors of inks. The first one is a technique that is called blending. With blending, you want to create a really smooth transition between colors. That means you're not going to really see a distinction between two different colors. You're going to see a really smooth and consistent gradient. Begin by using a lighter color to write the word and use a darker color to fill in one end of the word. You usually don't need that much of the darker ink because a little goes a long way as you can see. So I probably put a little bit too much there and if you wanted more of a contrast in the colors, I would use a little bit less of that dark ink. For this example, I used a little too much of the darker color, so you're not going to see that much of a color change. But this is how you would create a subtle ombre blend. The next method isn't actually a blend, but it's more of a bleed. You're going to use the darker color ink to put a drop on a piece of non-porous surface like plastic and dip the lighter color ink back into the darker color ink. This will create a combination of blends and bleeds. You can tell the difference between a blend and a bleed by looking at the transition between the B and the L. You see that the purple ink 
bleeds directly into that dark purple ink. We're going to use that exact method to create some galaxy writing. Begin by dipping the lighter color pen into the dark color ink. Now you're going to go ahead and write your word or phrase out. The two color pens I'm using here are the jellyfish color and then the darker color is called deep sea. You always want to use the lighter color pen to do the writing and the darker color pen as the dipping ink. If you do it in reverse, then you may not see the lighter color ink. Remember to take your time and go slowly here. Maintaining consistency between upstrokes and downstrokes requires a lot of time, practice, and patience. Remember to dip your pen back into the dark color ink whenever you feel like the colors are fading. If you're looking to get more practice with brush lettering, look at the freebie section of my blog. There you'll find a free downloadable file that you can practice upstrokes, downstrokes, and other commonly used shapes in brush lettering. Once you're happy with the way the word or phrase is written, we can begin embellishing. You can use any white gel pen to go ahead and add stars and dots onto your galaxy lettering. Here I'm using the Signo Uniball White Gel Pen. You want to create a random pattern with the stars. Also change up the size of the stars so you can get some more interesting variation. Along with the dot pattern you're creating, don't forget to add actual star shapes. We're going to further embellish our lettering with some gold drop shadowing. Here I'm using the Uniball Signo Gold Gel Pen. Sometimes it's difficult for me to imagine where the light source would be coming from for a drop shadow. So I place an object, like my eraser here, to remind me where the light source would be. Then I'm creating the shadow behind where that light would hit. You can stop here if you're satisfied. I thought that the gold drop shadow didn't show up as well as I liked, so I went ahead and kind of double lined it so that it was a little bit of a thicker drop shadow. Adding a drop shadow or an outline actually helps gives your lettering a little bit more definition. And we're pretty much done. There are a ton of different color combinations you can play with. I try to stick with colors in the same family. Remember that maybe colors like red and green don't blend together and you may end up with a brown color. Let me know if you guys want to hear more product reviews. I'm willing to take suggestions down in the comment section. If you like this tutorial, please hit the like button. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to follow along with other future tutorials and videos that I make. This is Leslie from Leslie Writes It All. Thanks for tuning in again.